hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table consisting of one proton. It is the simplest and most abundant element in the universe. Hydrogen does not occur naturally. It is always found in combination with other elements. Water, for example, is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is also found in many organic compounds, notably the hydrocarbons that make up fuels such as gasoline, natural gas, methanol, and propane. The tricky part of hydrogen as a fuel source is getting it in its pure form. Hydrogen is primarily produced using two methods, steam reforming and electrolysis, also known as water splitting. Steam reforming is a high temperature process in which steam reacts with a hydrocarbon fuel to produce hydrogen. Many hydrocarbon fuels can be reformed to produce hydrogen, including natural gas, diesel, renewable liquid fuels, gasified coal, or gasified biomass. Today, about 95% of all hydrogen is produced from steam reforming of natural gas. Electrolysis is a process that splits water into its basic elements, hydrogen and oxygen, using an electric current. The electricity used in the process may come from hydrocarbons or renewables. Hydrogen is an energy carrier, not an energy source. It is an efficient way to store and transport energy. For this reason, hydrogen has a unique and oftentimes little understood role in the global energy system. Some may not know that hydrogen has important applications in the oil and gas industry. Hydrogen is used to process crude oil into refined fuels such as gasoline and diesel and for removing contaminants such as sulfur from these fuels. Hydrogen is also used in a range of other industries, including chemical production, metal refining, food processing, and electronics manufacturing. Hydrogen can also be used for electricity production through a fuel cell. A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell which produces electricity by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. When hydrogen is combined with oxygen in a fuel cell, it produces heat and electricity with only water vapor as a byproduct. Fuel cells are unique in terms of the variety of their potential applications. They can provide energy for systems as large as a utility power station and as small as a laptop computer. Fuel cells can provide electric motor transportation for vehicles and provide power in stationary and portable power applications. Fuel cells have no emissions at the point of operation. The most significant advantage of hydrogen is that it is an efficient energy carrier. However, the ultimate challenge with hydrogen is getting it in its pure form. While some of its applications appear attractive for environmental reasons, deriving hydrogen requires energy that can result in greenhouse gas emissions and air pollutants that lessen the overall environmental benefits of the technology. In addition, cost and practicality such as lack of support infrastructure and storage of the highly explosive element are major concerns. That's hydrogen.